Mr. Young Kwong makes his way in. He's undefeated, 3 0. Suwon, South Korea, he's from. Turned pro last year. In September, he beat uh, Jun Young Wong in South Korea by a fourth round decision. This is his first fight outside of South Korea. He's a boxer. He doesn't have a real big uh, punch to his uh, arsenal. All of his fights have gone the distance. 3 0 with no knockouts. He had a win in Macau in March, a fourth round unanimous decision over Keisuke. And here he comes, Ju Young Kwong of uh, Suwon, South Korea. 3-0 fighter. We'll see how he develops and whether we'll see him on top-ranked boxing. But we have the opportunity to see this before our world championship fight comes up with uh, Lian Wei Yang against Cesar Cuenca because Donito Donaire was able to score a second-round knockout over Anthony Satul and then a Shavakov dispatched uh, Roy Muklas in the third round uh, by TKO. So we get to see these two fighters and here comes the kid from China. He's undefeated. One fight, one knockout. My man Diali. Turned pro this year. A boxer. He's got a nice jab and a bit of power to the body. In his debut in Beijing in April, he scored a fifth round technical knockout victory over Yod Kunsik Moor Punya, a four and two fighter from Thailand. So a guy in his debut able to do that. We'll see how good Zulpika Maimatelli is. A smile on his face as he hops his way into the ring. Obviously proud of his Chinese heritage. Decked out in his white and blue. Tape and will tell us a couple of things. You'll see that my man Telly is uh, younger by seven years. He's giving away a half inch in reach. He's a little bit taller, and the weight's exactly the same. So not a lot of difference in the tail of the tape here, except the age. Reach height doesn't matter. Weight the same. So that's the situation. All right, Lupe Contreras is standing by. We'll get this fight underway for you, and then our championship fight is coming up for that. So here's Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action here at Ko Tai Arena, once again being brought to you by Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated, along with Zika, La Cerveza Tecate con Caracter, and our host, the Venetian Macau. This bout, a battle of two undefeated fighters set for six rounds in the super middleweight division. The three judges are Arni Nakhira, Surat Sotrai Chang, and Samson Yu. The man in charge, referee Sawa Ang Tawi Kun. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring weighing black with red and white. He weighed in at an official 166 pounds. And he enters the ring, an undefeated professional with three victories. Fighting out of Suwon, South Korea. Jujun Kwong! His opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing white with blue and gold trim. He weighed in at an identical 166 pounds, and he enters the ring for the second time as a professional with a record of one victory and one knockout. Representing Urumqi, China, Sulipika. My, my, the alley. Yeah. 
Unified rules of boxing, 10-point must scoring system, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter must get up, following and low blowing, maybe counting out. And that'd be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. So here we go. This is scheduled for six rounds, super middleweight division. Coming up after this, we've got the 12-round IBF Junior Welterweight Championship of the World featuring Yang against Point Guy. So don't run away here as we stream to you live on toprank.com. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan. Glad that you can be with us here at the Gotai Arena at the Venetian Macau in China. Here we go. Decked out in the white trunks is uh, Mai Matelli, and decked out in the black is Quam. On the southpaw, jabbing away with that right hand. Silver trunks, they calling them white, the silver. You take a look at my Mattelli, he looks, it looks really, you know, really solid. He's a, he's really put together. The other guy, big in the shoulders, the kid from Korea. Both of these guys are undefeated. Juan has career written on the back of his black trunks. Chinese design on uh, my Mitelli his outfit. Can you hit? Can you hit? Go. Go, go, go. Saiyang and Tawik on the uh, referee concerned about the heads coming together. Parring with that left hand is Juan. South Korean product. Boy, they let those both guys have punched go that time. Kelly uh, got the best of that. This is scheduled for six round. A little bonus coverage we have for you here. These two young fighters because of the brevity of the two knockouts that we had. Young fighters are putting on a pretty good show here. Hard body shot by my Matelli. <laughs> Trying to set up one nice uppercut catches him. One uh, looks a little bit shell shocked. He's got a, a little mouse under that left eye already. His shots are very wide. Nice tight uh, stance for my Matelli. Back banging the, to the head of the south wall. I'm gonna tell you, he slaps him with a real good shot. That uh, left hand right down the middle to the right handed fighter. And then there's a right hand right back by Quan. Quan uh, plants a couple of solid right hands. And now we get a fight on our hands there, though. But again, two young fighters going at it. Jab downstairs to the body goes by Mattelli. Closing seconds now. This is the first round. Pretty good first round. Two young fighters. Hard shot right at the end by my Mattelli. Sit down, sit down. Cross the way to Kwon's corner. The Kotai Arena. And our bonus coverage is Opika, Mai Matelli against yeah. Jujun Huang. Huang in the black trunks with Korea in the back because he's from South Korea. And Mai Matelli in the white trunks. He's from China. From Yi, China. This is round number two. It's scheduled for six rounds. And then coming up, we have the world championship fight. 
leading the head was pawn that time. The head down, lets the right hand go and gets paid for it uh, dearly with a nice right hand by Mami Atelli. Atelli not really planning that jab in his face, just sort of measuring with it. And then he lets the uh, left hand go, which of course the power shot to the southpaw. Chopping right hand now. Oh, with a good right hand. That's a solid shot. And now he's got him in uh, a bit of trouble up against the ropes. Can he catch him clean? They're both throwing punches. Crowd likes this. Why wouldn't it? The young fighter's working hard. One get hit with a lot of shots there, but there's no quitting this guy. Big hard right hand. I don't know why they called uh, the heads came together, evidently. Doctor. Evidently, the heads came together and they might be cut. Go, go. Looks like he's cut in the mouth, which is not that uh, serious. Yeah. Oh no, it's up uh, up in the eyebrow now. I can see it. He's on the far side, so what you're seeing on television is exactly what I'm seeing. Pretty good gash. The fight has to be stopped because of this cut. Stop. It'll be a no, no. contest. Yes. In places where they don't have a lot of fights, my experience is doctors okay. have a tendency to stop oh, no. fights. But he's going to say he's okay and going to let him go. Up to yes. Okay, stop. No, that's it. I don't know whether it was a corner guy. The doctor appeared like he was going to let it go. So it'll be a no contest. Now, if it was a headbutt, it's a no contest. We haven't had an indication, but I'm assuming it was a headbutt. And now it looks like the referee is saying, yeah, by a headbutt. So, Mimatelli's not going to get the win he thinks he's going to get. It's going to be a no contest. Mimatelli, it's too bad for him because he was looking pretty good and is on his way to a victory. So we'll wait for the official particulars, but the fight had to be stopped. It's a no contest. We'll have him back. Lupe Contreras is standing by. We'll get all the official particulars. Here we go. Let's go up to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, after consulting with the ringside physician, referee Sawayang Chawi Kun, calls a halt to this contest with a time of 1 minute 28 seconds of the second round due to an accidental clash of heads. And due to the fact that we, not, we did not complete at least four rounds, According to the rules of the Professional Commission of Boxing here in China, this bout is declared a technical draw. In China, they call it a technical draw. That's according to the rules of boxing here, a technical draw, as opposed to a no contest in most other parts of the world.